Notre Dame Public Information and Communications Office. This is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Kevin, this is Dennis Brown, and it's really an honor and a privilege to speak with you this morning. Welcome aboard to all the Notre Dame community. Great to have you on board International Space Station. What about your role here on the space station? You're the commander now, and uh, can you tell us a little bit about your responsibilities uh, in that role and, and kind of what the day-to-day -day life is like? Well, day-to-day, -day, uh, we have six members on board, three cosmonauts and three U.S. segment crew members. We have one Canadian on board, Chris Hadfield, another uh, U.S. astronaut, Tom Marshburn, just arrived to join me. And um, Day to day, we are all busy with the technical details. I do the same technical work that they do, and we all three do science, essentially, for, uh, for those people on the ground who really have great ideas to explore up here. And we're just the hands-on, if you will. We get the racks set up. We can put the experiment devices inside, take care of all those kinds of things to get the science done. Uh, a big part of running a space station, though, too, is day to day operations and uh, maintenance on the various things we need to live on board. So about half of our time is split with science and half with maintenance. As the commander, I just wanna make sure everybody's happy that our schedules all fit together well, and that at the end of the day, we get as much done as a crew as we can. Sometimes you can really improve um, efficiency by having a couple hands on. So my, my job is just, just to keep the crew members happy at this point and, and just give them advice. They just arrived uh, three or four days ago, so they're still learning the, how to live and work around here. And then, of course, in, uh, in some kind of off-nominal situations, emergencies, you know, we have possibilities of depressurization events or a fire on board or something like that. Then my role is to make sure I communicate very well with the ground and get a very organized plan, make sure all the crew members are safe. And we, we leave by Soyuz if we need to. We make decisions that are are wise at the time. So I have some some time I spend just kind of thinking through those kinds of things as the commander and take the lead role if I need to in those situations. The guys that I have on board though are outstanding. They, they could, they're commander quality people themselves too. So uh, we're all uh, we're all ready to do what's uh, what's required day to day in the nominal situations or off nominal. Anything you can share with us concerning your experiences at Notre Dame and how they prepared you for your career uh, both as a, a military pilot uh, and now certainly uh, on, on board the space station. Well, you know, the big thing that stands out, Dennis, is that uh, the education you get at Notre Dame is a, is a general education uh, to take you out into the, into the world, really. And even though my major at Notre Dame was in aerospace engineering and it was fantastic technical education, we have classes in, uh, in uh, such a broad brush, uh, the liberal arts as well. And uh, it's amazing to me now that I'm out here doing, you know, th this is a liberal arts kind of thing I'm doing right now, communicating, if you will. Um, I, I took a Russian class at Notre Dame, never in my wildest dreams that I think I would fly someday in a Russian spacecraft with two cosmonauts speaking only Russian. And I took that course in the library at Notre Dame. Um, many other courses that I took there just, just prepared me to, to think outside the box, I think, just a little bit. And, and that's what you guys do at Notre Dame, is provide a great general education along with a fantastic technical education. So I, I think about that so often uh, throughout, the, throughout the, the days uh, that I spend on board here and, and just uh, back at NASA as well. You know, a big part of motivation is just absolutely doing your best every day. Um, I don't know if you can see it, Dennis. My, my son and daughter are Notre Dame grads, as you might remember, too. And my daughter made me a sign that says, Explore Like a Champion Today. I have it above the, uh, the airlock here that goes out into some of our working modules. And uh, it's, it's good motivation for me to put my hand on there and tap it once in a while as I go to work every day to remember that every day is very important. And, and you only have so many opportunities in life, and you need to give it your best every day. Well, Kevin, we're all very proud of you. Um and uh, wish you the very best. I know you've got another couple, three months, I think, on board. And um, we, uh, we wish you the best, safe travels, and thanks very much for uh, taking the time to, uh, to speak with us uh, this morning. Okay, well, you're very welcome, Dennis. I do have, I had a lot of Notre Dame garb. I, if I'd had some time, I was gonna call you and ask you what I should wear. I decided to go with my Expedition 34. I kind of wear this every morning because it's kind of cool, but on Space Station. But I do have, I do have uh, plenty of garb. I got a Play Like a Champion Today t-shirt on board. I wear that underneath a lot. And uh, 
So um, it's been great talking to you. Very, uh, I do have a few more months up here, and uh, I'm going to come up and see you all you uh, when I get home and tell you about the experience and, uh, and catch up with you uh, as well. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event.